when I say a two income household, I'm not bringing my income. If I if I start dating a man uh-huh. and he's like, okay, we're going to get serious. We're going to make money together. My income prior to you has nothing to do with you. I'm not bringing it to the table. So, so, so Holly, listen. I, I so, right, I a two-income household. Now, mm-hmm. listen, we can definitely have a nice three-bedroom house mm-hmm. under just my income. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Three-bedroom, two-car garage. But now, out of both our incomes, we can get an eight-bedroom house, four-car garage. Why, Why are we not mm-hmm. elevating together? What Why you gonna do with your money you? while I'm paying for everything? Why so, no, no, no. I'm not saying that you're not going you're going to be paying for everything when i say a two income household i'm not bringing my income if i if i start dating a man uh-huh. and he's like okay we're gonna get serious we're gonna make money together my income prior to you has nothing to do with you i'm not bringing it to the table because if you a man you supposed to groom me right mm-hmm. we supposed to do this together my income don't have nothing to do with what i get it but we talking about but, after we've but, already been together yeah. once we're already together right and we're trying to figure out all right look we're looking for a new house Mm-hmm. Are we gonna look for this new house under just my income or both our hours? You because talking that, to me? If you that's dating, what if you're dating me, your income gonna be solidified. You're not gonna but, care but about that. I'm but, not bringing but, man to the table. It's not me caring about it. It's about the banks. I can't get this one point. Now that's I'm, different. Listen, I, no, no, it's not. That's what I'm talking about. This one point five million dollar house that I want. Yeah. They're yeah. not gonna just hold on. They're not just gonna give it to me off my income. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Both our incomes will get the house. Yeah. You dig what right. I'm saying? So what do you mean you're not gonna bring it to the table? Okay, so if you're not, hold on. If you're not gonna bring it to the table, then I need to find a woman that will. So now here we are. If you need my income to get this house for us, we don't supposed to have this house. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you're not you're not gonna live in it? No, hear me out. I'll put my income on the line, but as a man, you are the leader. You're supposed to provide. That means you are already coming in the door above your means if you need it's, all of my no, pockets. No, no, no. Not it's about all. it's about the bank. You got to remember. No, what, that's different. Like on no, paper. That's what I'm saying. So that's here, different. So here's my thing, right? If we are trying to get this house, we can get it. Double the size house mm-hmm. if both our incomes are on there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Regardless of who pays the bills, this, that, and the other, we're going for for both of ours. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out why are you saying yours not coming into play. If that's the game plan, you the leader. I'm following you, baby. Take my W. So your baby income is coming into play, but you're paying that mortgage. It's just not coming out of my pocket. Mm. So what you gonna not do? Even so what you gonna be doing with? So what, what, okay, if so I'm paying those pay bills, what are you gonna be doing with your money? You paying everything else. Me being me, everything else, investing. But here's the thing, right? When I say, like, I am a wife, let's say, for instance, my income. I don't care if it's $2,000 a month. I will come to my husband. You paying the bills, babe. What are we going to do with this money that I'm bringing in? I'm not bringing it to the table for you to go F it off so you can go See, trick off with Keisha, Tish, You're and moving Shay. the goal, I'm not. You're I'm bringing, not bringing listen, it to the table. Listen, you just said you're bringing it to the table. I will you bring just, it to the table if you... I will bring my paperwork to the table. Now, the question he asked was a fair, legit, reasonable question. If on my own income, I can get a three bedroom home, two garage, but our incomes together, we could get an eight bedroom, four car garage. Why would we not want to put our incomes together and elevate? This is the mentality of the modern day woman right now. Her response being, she doesn't bring her income to the table. They can make money and put their money to the side, spend their money on whatever they want to spend their money on, do whatever they want to do, and expect for a man to provide a lifestyle of luxury on him. The fact that you could possibly be with a woman who would sit back and just allow you to pay for everything in their life, but the moment he asks you to include your income in this lifestyle, your income doesn't come to the table. That has to be the most selfish thing I've ever heard come out of a female's mouth. It just really grinds my gears when I hear women say things like, you being the man, you're supposed to provide and protect. I hate when women use that for an excuse to be lazy or use that for an excuse to be selfish, use that for an excuse to keep theirs to their self. As if like men were just created to just cater and do for you. At some point in a relationship, when does it come to a point where a man can say, hey, I really feel like if I don't have it, she got me. Nowadays, when I see people have these relationships and I see people do these talking points or whatever, and then and I heard women add their view to it, it just sounds more and more selfish every day as if like you just are just so expected on a man to just do everything for you. But you don't even 
even listen to the man for a man who's sitting here providing his lifestyle for you and you don't even want to listen to him when he say hey i don't think you should wear that hey i don't think you should go there you, you do what you want to do i don't believe i can ever provide a lifestyle for a woman 100 percent of everything and then when i ask you to do something it's combativeness saying that you will provide your paperwork so that he can get it through the bank which okay cool let's just say hypothetically you get this eight bedroom house full car garage and all you did was provide your w-2 so that he can take it to the bank and get approved for the house or whatever but he's solely paying for that mortgage on his own now let's just say something happens to where this man can't work for a while now who's responsible for that mortgage now normally in these situations the first thing the woman would do is she would leave i've seen it plenty of times where guys fall on hard times and they can't they can't do what they need to do or do what they normally would do for the household. And the first thing the woman do is she get her bag. She got her little money stashed to the side and she just leave. She leave him to deal with the mess that just so happens to happen. So when he asks you, okay, so what are you going to be doing with your money? And she say, I'm going to take care of everything else. Well, ma'am, that's bringing your income to the table. Sometimes I think people like to fuss for no reason. It's like, really, you're okay with paying the smaller bills, but you say anything about putting any type of money towards a rent or a mortgage. That's a no go. I don't understand. Bills is bills. That money got to go to somebody for something in this house. So what does it matter if it's a light bill, water bill, internet bill, groceries? It's still coming out your pocket going into someone else's pocket. It's, an, it's a bill. It's an expense. It's no different from paying rent or paying mortgage. And the fact that you can have this money and sit here and watch your man that you claim you love and you care about and you ride or die for and whatever, you can watch him put his every last dollar into that house. But because it's a rent or a mortgage you don't feel that you should be putting any type of finances to it and this is what's being taught to younger girls throughout the years or whatever whatever the fact of knowing that you can put yours and hers together and nine times out of ten she would still feel that she shouldn't add anything i do like the fact that he did mention if that's not something you're gonna do i can find somebody who can do it i can find somebody who would like to enter into this lifestyle at this requirement and we can be happily ever after and this is how women like this stay single forever but eventually those requirements those deal breakers will all fade away eventually because you become old to the point where you want to be with someone and then you wasted so much time because you had all these high expectations and you had these deal breakers and you had these non-negotiables to the point where some of that stuff you start negotiating you realize you're not getting any younger your looks are starting to fade you're about to hit the wall and you gotta grab what you can grab so you won't be the lonely old woman with cats and dogs and, and birds i think this is one of those situations where you find women who just like to argue points that just doesn't make sense i was going through the comments and majority of the women that i saw in the comments i will say they was like she just sounded selfish she sounded stupid what she said really didn't make any sense because if you have a man who's willing to be with you he's willing to invest in you and your future why would you not want to add what you have to that in the beginning stages it may be you know we don't know you know what i'm saying you just met a person you can't really invest everything when you just first meet a person but if you're to a point where you're considering buying a house i would think that you guys would have been through enough to know that this is the one i want to build my future with so with knowing that if he's putting all his eggs in the basket why not add your eggs to it the sad part about this is women like this who don't like to bring anything to the table when divorces are bought up they want to have for more of whatever they didn't even put in on and this is why a lot of men are choosing to just stay single and not get married like what's the point of going through all this if you're just going to end up with a person who at the end of the day is going to try to take you for half or more of what you have who didn't want to put in no work didn't want to put the time didn't want to put the finances who didn't want to put the effort in as you did sometimes you got to meet selfish with selfish so if she's thinking about herself you got to start thinking about yourself at the end of the day you have have to do what you need to do to protect what you have built what you have acquired because if you run across women like this my first advice to you is to turn the opposite way it's crazy because a lot of the times the women who require all of this don't even qualify for everything they're asking for this is why a lot of relationships don't last our inability to work together everyone's for self we have this thing marriage which should be a union a partnership a team but instead it's always someone thinking about self to the point where we can't be that team that we that us that together if we are together we should contribute like we are together there's no point for us to be in a relationship or a marriage and we're still making single decisions it's, it's no longer mine it's, it's ours we're in a society where women are still being taught 
his money is my money and my money is my money and, and if i'm being honest it really just sounds lazy to me she sat right and said she's not bringing her income to the table but they can get money together now if i'm him and i'm already getting money why would i bring you along with me to get money if you don't even add your money to the money that i'm bringing to the table to me that doesn't sound like someone that's meant to be my help me that sounds like someone selfish and a liability 